Hi guys, and I just want to say a quick thank you to L'Oreal and Red Ken for making this all possible and hosting us today. Thank you so much. So we are really excited to bring our first guest on to the show, and it's our first episode of the hair show, and that is James Atkinson, a.k.a. Yay! Hi, James. Yay! Here he is. Hello, the guys. man with great How curly hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no hair envy at all, James. Right. Is it is it the life of hair? The life of the hair, life. yes. The life of hair, yes. So that's my pretty much all my social media handles now. Um, it's either the life of hair or the life of hair one, um, and uh, it, it's, it manifested itself from a, a YouTube ch a channel that I started uh, back in June. Uh, I'm loving making YouTube videos. Actually, it's become a, a very uh, enjoyable, creative process for me. Thinking about how I can make my videos as um, interactive and, and, and fast paced as possible, but still get across some good content and give people some free education. Um, I think, uh, I was talking earlier about, about this, but I think it, we're sort of, uh, we're heavily represented on Instagram as an industry. And, and I think a lot, I, you know, I get a lot of clients through, uh, through that avenue and that's great. Um, but I think as far as YouTube goes, there's not so much of that at the moment. So I wanted to get in there and, and start putting some free okay. education out there because it's my passion in life is to give people information. If I could take you to the pub and teach you tiddlywinks, I would. Oh, hey, <laughs> man, I'm up for a game of tiddlywinks. <laughs> you know, have you ever played tiddlywinks? I've never even heard of that. No, you never <laughs> heard of tiddlywinks? How about, how about a game can of you see, Can you yeah. see Tegan playing tiddlywinks? I, I could see no, Tegan being a world champion. champion. No, I could see Tegan being a world I'll champion. You're a bit of tiddlywinks. Yeah, she's getting a bit mugging at you guys. Welcome to the hair show. Yeah. We're talking about tiddlywinks. Yeah, that's right. Brilliant. Whatever that is. So, look, I mean, what we. We're going to be talking about hair trends, colour mm -hmm. hair trends. Colour trends. Yeah, so um, where are we at, James? Well, I, I wanted to bring to you guys some uh, vision that I have of commercial hair trends and the way that commercial hair, tre uh, hair trends, I think, are going to go in 2019. Um, I'm seeing more and more natural texture, curly, mm. sporting it myself, as you can see. Mm. Uh, so I'm not biased at all, but um, I've been a big fan of curly hair my whole career and I'm really pleased to see people who are embracing it. And it's been great because, you know, celebrity endorsement of curly hair, you're seeing uh, the likes of Beyonce and people with great natural texture mm. wearing it natural. And, um, and I think that's really gonna start to filter through, and it already is starting to filter through, certainly with my clients, as a ongoing trend in the salon. Good. And that's not an easy thing, wearing your hair in natural, this natural no. form. That, that takes just as much yeah, as yeah. effort and education. Yeah. And yeah. Well, we well. haven't seen it in terms as well, I know we're saying colour trends, but it's just cool to just talk trends. Yeah, trends it's kind yeah, of technical, trends, isn't it, really? But um, I mean, when we talk about curls, we have seen like those very boho-y curls for a while, but mm. we're now starting to talk more natural curls. Is that fair yeah. reflection yeah, yeah. and I know we've got Jemima Cousins deputy editor black hair and beauty coming on and do you think a lot of this has come from you know black culture yeah I think um, some of the trends that you've seen with uh, celebrity has definitely been black culture led um, but I think people are just accepting that if their hair's curly there's better products for their, mm -hmm. there's better ways to dry their hairs diffuser bags and they're well educated now i yeah. think that's what like the come of instagram mm -hmm. um not only with the natural text even like they're more educated with how to look after the hair products wise mm -hmm. um how to style it mm -hmm. um even like youtube tutorials and stuff like yeah. that that makes people more aware yeah. of what's out there uh, yeah that was that was i think my fifth episode of the life of hair i did a how to diffuse your curly hair and i had a girl with uh, sort of nigh on afro texture uh, and and how not do you, how do you diffuse well, I, I think the the, the, the key for me the, yeah, yeah <laughs> the key for me Dom, is to go to the life of hair right? and <laughs> so you know every, yeah, that's right. yeah you know and the thing was i think the th one of the big things for me is don't touch it you know mm. dry the hair as still and as natural <laughs> as possible you know and then once it's dry really free that shape up get your hands in there and and and, and uh, bring out the shape that you created either with the cut or it's natural it's natural fear. Um, can I dare say the word? Perm. Oh, yeah. <gasps> can, can I want to know I, about this. It, look, perm is, is just bad? one yeah. of those words that, as hairdressers, was perm, general perm, yeah. perm, yeah, yeah, yeah. perm. <laughs> the smell of perm. Mm. But could it happen? I, I think if we could make a product 
that you could put onto coloured hair, mm. not damage it, not damage it, perms would come back. Mm. Would That's you all embrace perms? Yeah, I would. I actually sported one when I was 18 at Did school, you? and then when it oh, grew, well, I can't imagine we, that. Why haven't we got a photo? <laughs> oh, oh, I bet it looked beautiful. Right. <laughs> when it started growing out, that's when I realised, oh, perms aren't actually permanent. No. I didn't know anything yeah, about hair when I was about that. 18. And the, the, yeah. did the smell last after you washed it? Because I know <laughs> I, 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 so I, I... Can you not friends. still smell it? <laughs> was, oh, that was you? <laughs> <laughs> so that was you? <laughs> no, it was, yeah. That was me, lunch. But, I mean, look, in terms of... Perms, fab, curls, mm. fab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Colours. Colours, yeah. Well, let's talk about colours. I th uh, hashtag Grombray. Anybody know oh, that? Oh, yuck. That is the ugliest <laughs> word I've ever heard in my whole life. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> grombray. Hashtag, something, hashtag grombray. Go, go, go and put it into your Grombray. Your grombray. So, is that grumpy? Is, 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 is it what yeah, are we yeah. talking? That's hashtag I'm grumpy. <laughs> no, this is, um, this is talking about those natural grey hair. Uh, trend, it's, it's a trend, I suppose, you know, that, that mm -hmm. people are wearing their natural grey hair. Um, and I'm are having... Are we talking older generation now? Uh, older yeah. and anybody that's gone grey. I'm having so many people come in and say... Yeah, my mum's doing that. Yeah, fantastic. You know, and I'm a big fan, actually. I mean, I work for a coloured brand, so I probably wouldn't be pleased with me saying this, but no. <laughs> you know, like, How I, I say word that. this? Yeah, that's right. But no, the reality <laughs> is, is that actually they do other things to their hair that still means that they, they, they invest in services, but but they're just fed up of putting dye on their head, mm. um, you know, four weekly or whatever it is. And I think hairdressers need to get on board with how to take people on this journey. Mm. Um, and actually the technique that I'm going to show you later, actually, I do use a lot on that grey journey. Um, and, I, and I advocate mm. you do it slowly, but um, I think there's got to be a, a, a feeling of, of uh, getting on board and, yeah. and, and being enlightened when Are we people talking sit in your chair. Because um, this is what happened with my mum. She's been dyeing her hair dark for years and years and yeah. years. Bless her. And then she came to me and she was like, I've made a big life choice. I'm going to go silver. Yeah. You're going to do it for me. And I was like, mm. well, no, I won't. Um, but anyway, I was stuck because... Obviously, like the um, I don't know if you're talking like the the dark kind of integrating the grey into that as it grows out. That's right. Just yeah, that's it. Just, <laughs> just yeah, it's quite it's a challenging process. But I think if really you go all in with a, a a bleach and you're bleaching it and it's going orange and you've got grey roots, it's just too heavy. You've got mm -hmm. to sort of creep from there gently, you know. And if there's any um, uh, people out there that are watching this that think actually, you know, I, I really would like to go grey. Um, or expose my natural grey colour. It's not going to be easy, guys. It's going to take a long time. And but it, you know, if you want to get there, it's worth it in the end. Because I think, you know, as you get older, not only does your hair go grey, but your skin tone fades, and it does suit, uh, you know, your skin tone. So as we lose melanin, uh, we lo don't just lose it from our hair. That's why our hair goes grey. We lose it from our skin as well. So I think it's really important. Do you have to wear particular kind of haircuts? with this natural grey silk. I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I think, um, I think uh, uh, Dan might uh, display on the screen a bit later on some of the grey things that I've seen, but, um, you know, the, the, uh, or we're seeing coming about, there's all manner of lengths. I mean, just down there on the round side, you guys can see, mm -hmm. there's a very long grey. Can we see these here? Yeah, let's, let's, have a look at, let's have a look at these here. <laughs> I do, at first glance, I didn't actually realise that was, um, so that's that natural, is right? the definition of yeah. grey. Yeah, grey, gr gr yeah, that's right. You know, and she looks great. I think she's editor of a magazine, this, uh, this, this woman. Let's bring that in. And, let's bring that in. Let's bring that in. So do, 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 do. She looks bring great. Yeah, she looks say, amazing. Yeah. And very flat. Is that, that is a natural. That's the definition of a silver That's her, that's her You can tell the texture of the hair. That's right. If you read about her, you'll see that that's her. This obviously not natural. No, that's Enhanced, enhanced. 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 So enhanced is a key then to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the factors. That's a good point. Can I ping along? Yeah, go along. Yeah, I mean, this is the perfect time. So. Just to let again the viewers know, <coughs> these are images that you've sort of put forward here, yeah, that's James. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of got going. So what we got going this on is, here? Well, this is another trend that I was talking about, but um, this is. Well, I think, talk, what's this then? What's well, this is, this is this is this is about the, the trend of, of uh, highlights, really. I mean, not, it's not that it's a trend; it's a, it's, a, it's been around forever. But I think um, balayage has been a big thing, and and for the uh, you know consumer out there who's watching this. Um, 
you may not be aware, balayage is a trend of having it, you know, lighter towards the ends, and it sort of gently melts away. Consumers don't get it. They do don't. They? they don't what always know. The balayage. Um, no. I don't. Think, can't even say. Balayage. Yeah. Yeah. Balayage. Yeah. 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 It's a lot easier when it's cat fire. You know? <laughs> got some serious. Got some, but you know, and, and it, guys, if you if you don't know what it means, it means to sweep. It's a sweeping technique where you blend away uh, from dark to light. And I think, actually, what we're going to see is more highlighting techniques coming into. Uh, it back into our uh, daily life and applying some of the skills that we learn with blending from balayage and we'll be doing highlights that are a lot more natural and blended um, like you're seeing just there. Should we have a little shift yeah, along? Shift what have we got? Um, hey. This is the curly, this is the curly vibes, this is what we were talking about earlier. I, mean, I can't wait to bring Jemima on as well. <laughs> Jemima's, too, yeah, I mean I knew Jemima things. was coming on but still this has been a passion of mine for a long time. I, I think it's a, I'm talk about this more with John, but I think it's a terrible shame that there's a sort of divide between, uh, you know, Afro hair types and Caucasian hair types. Um, you know, European hairdressers need educating in mm -hmm. it, it's just hair, yeah. and they need to learn to cut it. <laughs> you, Ridiculous you, when you really think about it. Yeah, isn't and it? colour it as well, because you know it's more porous, it's more fragile, it's a lot more. But it's not, it's, it's not hair. rocket science, it's yeah, just hair. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk yeah, to Jemima yeah, yeah. all about that. I won't, I won't just get, get a few bit on that. But <laughs> this is, and again, this is kind of just going to work its way through again, the curls is what you yeah, just said yeah, at the very absolutely. start. Yeah, it yeah, is very start. And then uh, what have we got along here? That's not my one. <laughs> is that not your one? <laughs> and then, uh, have we got any more? Yeah, yeah, there's a few more. Keep going. That was again the highlights, you know, using a highlighted technique to create you know, that multi-dimensional, it comes much higher up the head like a highlight I used to. Are these yeah. by you or are these just images no, just that we found? Sort of, images, yeah, yeah, so thank you right, to yeah. everybody yeah. that's got their hair work being yeah. featured on yeah. here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's wicked to see. Beautiful. Do you like that, Jordana? Beautiful. Yeah, I really do. And I love the, the, the amount of ash content in that bond as well. <laughs> could we ever Such see, a hairdresser thing. <laughs> could we ever see you wearing anything like that in years? Well, actually, because funnily enough, I've started growing, I'm only 24, but I started going grey when I was about 12. Really? Um, so I'm actually growing that because I thought it'd be, um, with my personality if I was fully grey everyone would just assume that I was an old drunk auntie but I've started actually growing out this little shave bit to see what it looked like like it, this will be like a nice little ash grey because Tegan was I mean you were renowned for your green hair mm. yeah yeah for now yeah. it's now oh, red <laughs> <laughs> where are we at with bright colours as well James well I think yeah we are seeing in certain areas people are experimenting still with bright colours and we are still seeing bright colours um, we are still seeing bright colours coming colors through I've got some. Oh, look, there we go a bit of vivid, vivid colours there but uh, Who, what, who's put this one in is this uh, is no it? not me not me I think it's from my Weller mood board yeah, yeah. do we like that I mean yellow colors? I think yellow is going to be a big yellow and green still. is actually something but, yeah, that neon, 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 neon isn't it? yeah it's going to be a, a, a the big, crazy colour yeah. just put out the new neon range yes yeah oh, why neon what, what what's well, the I think it's just I think it's just an emanation of of you know the next evolution of you know, bright colours. People are getting mm -hmm. braver and braver, aren't they? Of, you so know, so, so that goes back again to client expectation. Someone comes in with black hair and they show their hairdresser and say, I'd like that hair colour, please. I'll oh, take please. it to Pax. <laughs> 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 I mean, that is the thing, isn't it, though? It is mm -hmm. just like, I mean, that is a major job, yeah. isn't it? This isn't just a colour out of a tube and, yeah. and, yeah. and off, we, off we go. What sort of techniques gone into that? A lot of bleach and then a, and then a lot of blending work afterwards, you know, to create that, uh, that amazing... Should we have Curation, a little, basically. Let's have a little yeah. one. What have we got going on here? Natural curls again. Natural, natural yeah. curls, yeah. Okay. Ah, this was mine. This was yours. Okay. What do you reckon? Was it on it or not? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I, see, I'm, I kind of like this. The only reason I, I oh, went for this one. Mustard, mustardy mm. kind of yellows, and again, mm. I'm trying to like make out that I know what I'm talking about <laughs> here. It's only because again, this Weller event that we were at, and Zoe Irwin presented some uh, uh, looks, and one of those sort of looks were. Uh, to do sort of mustard 70s hair. So mm -hmm. is that something we could see? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Why can not? we just quickly zoom along there? Just yeah. give us a bit what's hot, what's yeah. not. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. absolutely. And you can all do that. Let's yeah. we all do what's hot yeah. and what's not. Yeah. Hot. Love yeah. that. Oh, absolutely. I put that in. Yeah, 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 yeah come on. <laughs> I'm getting over this great thing. Getting over it? I was over it three years ago. <laughs> okay, so we're over that. All right, I was when more you, over When you were great yourself at 12. Okay, yeah. we're, we're getting yeah. over that. Well, well they said that was going to be purple was going to be popular this year I'm with the ultraviolet. Yeah, that's But that never took off. No, I thought so, this took off like a so while come on. with the grey. Yeah. Hot or not? No. 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 Oh, I ain't got one out of three at the moment. Ain't very good. 
Is this more like warmer tones? Not maybe? me. Not me. Exactly. This this one. One. Yeah, just warmer tones. This I think warmer tones, yeah. yeah. I'm into I'm it. Okay? I'm okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. into it. Yeah. I don't okay. think everybody suits ashy hair. 50 50 no, so don't. far. No. Okay, so we're into that. Natural, yeah. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're on the flow. Love that. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Seems like 70s are very Yeah, it's that 70s. Yeah, yeah. That's I could see you with that. That's a that's a jewel down there. Men colour? Uh, no, no, no. Not going to no, happen. No. Independent. <clears throat> I'm not a fan. I'm not personally a fan. Okay. Men's colour, blue. Can we see that going into the barbering? I know we've got mm. Leah on in a bit. No, I can't yeah. see it. Could we see it going into men's hairdressing? Men, men's hairdressing, men, men's hairdressing colour could happen, but I personally would not be. Right. That's hot. Good. Oh, hot. Yeah. 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 Hot. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. Hot. Uh, I like the cut. Mullet. Good cut. I like the cut, but I just think... Oh, oh right. anyway, natural, yeah, natural. hot or not, I'm throwing that over there. We're done. <laughs> yeah, we're done so we come to that. So yes. look, what, what are you... James, you're going to do something for us, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so we're going to do a little demonstration of a, of a really cracking commercial technique that you can just... One of those ones where if you haven't got time and your, heart, and your client wants a little bit of a dimension or, you know, if you want to give your client something for free, because I'm big into giving my clients gifts, my loyal mm -hmm. clients, you know, I'll say... Well, why don't we do this and, and, and it's on me this one and you know as long as they're express techniques and it's not going to cause you too much bother in your day oh, then, they love it, oh, so. yeah. they do. Yeah. I bet I love it of course they do they love that you know because they you know they're loyalty aren't they they pay a lot of money to come and see me and I think I owe you something yeah, yeah. that's good yeah.